its mother. Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It is a day later, and I feel totally fine. So I don't know what was going on with the the body of Northern Lion there. Blue cap, Dad's key, WJK7, LF3A. Um, a pretty good start, honestly, all things considered. Dad's key. Dad's key is Dad's key. If you think that I'm gonna carry Dad's key to the exit, even if a better spacebar item shows up just for the chance to fight Mega Satan, I don't think you watched the last few runs. Uh, I am done with zaniness temporarily unless they make a very compelling case, and Dad's key by itself is not a very compelling case. I will try to use it to find secret rooms and stuff like that, but mostly, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Our shot speed is gonna suffer a little bit because of blue cap, but, uh, at least it gave us HP. We would have started with two spirit hearts and nothing else besides that if we didn't get that. And uh, the extra tears up more than makes up for it because our shot speed is totally fine by itself. We also have our first instance of a tinted rock here that we're going to need a bomb to take care of. But I'm excited nonetheless. And we found our secret room, which is really the main value uh, coming into this of having Dad's key. One day, <laughs> maybe we'll be able to to make it work and, and carry it all the way down to the Mega Satan fight. It might be today if we get really good, uh, if we get really good passive items, but, uh, I'm not making any promises here. I don't know if I want to fight the boss first, or, well, that was really good. I don't know if I want to fight the boss first, or I want to... I was thinking, like, should we use our dad's key here? I, I mean, I thought maybe the second secret room would be on the other side. But maybe my mistake. There were spider webs there, but I don't know if that counts as it being blocked off. Anyway, we could have used it to get into the uh, the shop for free, which we still probably can, assuming this big room has combat on it, which it of course does. Um, and if we could just get another extra bomb, there's a nickel and a rusted key, both of which would provide me with like pretty great value right now. Rusted key, of course, not just key drops, but uh, more chests showing up in the future as well. Can be really, really useful, especially with something like the left hand. But uh, an extra nickel to give us 16 cents this early in the game would also be great. But let's keep in mind we also have a tinted rock available uh, that we might like to blow up as well. The extra damage plus one from uh, small rock would also be very versatile. And the spirit arts wouldn't hurt either. A golden chest might be a little bit of a piss off, but because of dad's key, we can open it probably. Not feel too... Uh, Concerned about how our resources look for the next floor, so the world is kind of our oyster right now. This room, though, is, uh... There's got to be a joke about other bivalves in there, you know, other seafood. This w this room, however, requires a lot of muscle. I don't know where I'm going with that. Guillotine! It is what it is. I wouldn't necessarily say it's particularly good. Nor would I say it's particularly bad. It, it's situational. Most of the time I like it, sometimes I hate it. Uh, I do like having an orbital right off the bat. It's just a little hard to use this orbital um, without getting yourself hurt quite a lot in the process. But it does a lot of damage. Just trying to like, you can tell how tentatively I'm trying to play it right here. Just swinging by. There we go. We took a little damage that I'm not proud of. We got our own orbital afterwards anyway. Um, this is going to be weird. Oh, there's our second secret room. Inside of which we find a fortune teller. Not really interested in that. It's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be able to get into... Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get... There's options. I think we'll go for the other tinted rock. Just, you know, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. Oh, we got two extra bombs out of that. So now... We can come back here and uh, drop this like here. I just don't want to force myself into, you know, we have two bombs, let's use two bombs. I just don't want to force myself into a position where I can only choose to get one because of a bad placement. So this will take us back up to 11 cents. I will sacrifice, uh, okay. That's all right. Just an extra half spirit art down the drain there. Uh, I, I sacrificed that to get into that curse room, thinking it would work out for us. Should have saved the bomb before we went in there, but we got rusted key, which I do think is probably worth it. And I know that my vocal change, as I said, that probably betrayed what I was really thinking, but uh, it's it's hard, you know, because I do think that rusted key was probably worth it, but it's not immediately worth it, so it's it's hard to sell. Uh, but long term, it it easily could be. So we have two orbitals. Would be a really really good time to pick up a unicorn stump. This should not be a secret room, so I'm... Well, I don't even have Dad's Key ready. This, on the other hand, is a fantastic room to use Dad's Key on. I 
apparently just walked over the fire because I'm an idiot. I thought I'd actually extinguished it, and we're starting to play a little sloppy here, so we'll use that. Should be able to get into both rooms, no problem. Peeper's eye is pretty bad. Or the peeper, I should say, but it exists, and we'll see if we can snag PhD out of this. I wouldn't mind. We're not going to be able to, but we're going to be close. One bomb away for sure, or just two regular scents. But this floor, as you might expect, you know, you've heard me say it uh, two or three hundred times at least, probably, is all about this deal with the devil. If we can get a good deal with the devil, might as well use dad's key on that room, too. If we can get a, uh, well, first get a deal with the devil, then get a good deal with the devil, we are in a really amazing position moving forward. And this is getting a little ridiculous. Two double key rooms here. I don't think we're going to have enough uh, rooms to get dad's key on both of them, or to use dad's key on both of them, but we can... Obviously, just open one and use Dad's key on the other. So we'll go with whatever one's closest first, and that's two extra bombs. We should go back and get PhD, but let's see what's inside of this double key room before we do that. This one is a two room. It rerolls all consumables on the ground. Lovely. Just a colossal waste of everybody's time. You can do some weird stuff, like you can carry an extra trinket in there and then um, do things that way. I. I wouldn't recommend it necessarily, but it's not a bad idea if you if you have the time for it or you have the trinket, which we do not have right now. But PhD has given us hematomesis, which if we find a second secret room could be pretty useful. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use two keys here. I know we could use a bomb, get the battery, and then dad's key it, but there's also the risk of us taking damage there. And all things considered, this actually worked out fantastically regardless. So we're going to be up to like 13, 14 cents and picked up a lot of consumables as well. But for now, nothing uh, really blowing the doors off on this run. We're just lucky we're on the basement, so uh, we, we don't really have too much to worry about when it comes to our next uh, most difficult enemies. But I would really like to pick up some high damage stuff because uh, the guillotine does pretty much objectively put a dent in my, uh, my ability to dodge. So anything that can just improve the ability to kill enemies is going to be worth its weight in gold here. Speaking of which, maybe we could just get Midas Touch and Unicorn Stump and then... We'll be sitting pretty here. Another annoying room, but uh, not as annoying as some of the big rooms we've faced so far. But I, I'll never uh, go back on my earlier statement that big rooms on the first couple of floors are the most annoying. Usually they have a lot of enemies, you don't have a lot of damage or the ability to kill enemies super quickly, and you find yourself uh, basically just engaging in a war of attrition. Really tedious. We finished that one off, though. Um... Tried to use Dad's key there, just to see if we can get a second secret room or something. I don't know where the second secret room is, but it doesn't matter too much. Alright, another half-decent opportunity there on that Tinted Rock. And we should keep in mind that we do have the ability to fly... Or, sorry, if we have the ability to fly, there is a... Uh, there is a Tinted Rock that I was unable to get on that room with the, the red fires on it. So if we could swing that, you know, eventually it's going to pay out with small rock. It's just basic arithmetic. I don't know if that is, but let's just go for it. Uh, Magic Mushroom, fantastic. Sister Maggie, might as well, uh, but not uh, particularly strong. But the Magic Mushroom pickup is, and it's pretty much all I could ask for out of a boss fight. Probably the best boss room item you can pick up, actually. There's our second secret room. Had to check. Oh, that's our regular secret room. I had to check regardless, though, because uh, if we can actually manage... That was amazing. I don't really want Piggy Bank, so I'm not going to go back, but it's incredible. If we can manage to use the Sematomesis pill to get a, a few Eternal Hearts out of, or a, a few Black Hearts or Spirit Hearts would be fine as well, then uh, that's just worth its weight in gold. And I know I'm repeating that sentence a lot here. What I was trying to go for is like a, it's disproportionately valuable, but I was thinking of a cool idiom to use, and I couldn't think of a cool idiom. That's my problem, man. I'm always trying to think of cool idioms, and then I'm like, ah, oh, there's no cool idiom to describe this situation. And then I feel like a big dummy. So we're on Catacombs XL. Normally that means uh, a little bit of a boost in our time. So not a boost, sorry, but a, uh, a lowering of the amount of time it takes to complete a floor. So you know I'm going to mention it. We might as well mention it. Boss Rush has a, has a chance to show up on this run. We found our secret room here. And I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, we don't have anything that's really speaking to me right now. You know, nothing that's saying this is going to be a guaranteed win, but... Oh, I'm pretty lucky to have not gotten hit there. But we have a, a nice little foundation. Some problems associated with it right now. Like, really, low HP is a big one. Did just pick up our first guppy item, though. And, uh, you know, Dad's key is very lucky. 
We continue to find um, passive items or spacebar items we don't really want to take. And uh, Guppy's Paw is in there. I don't, I don't really take Guppy's Paw too much anymore. There are situations in which it's useful to hold on to, mostly when you don't have any other uh, spacebar items to take advantage of. But even if you had like a Maggie's Faith or something like that, you could see situations in which uh, Guppy's Paw is worth taking. But for right now, there's just not too much value in it, I think. So, you know, Dad's key lives to ride again, and it's only got to make it a few more floors down, and then it'll find itself in a position where maybe we'll be fighting Mega Satan. I can't escape the absurdity as much as I would like to. But uh, at least so far, no uh, no D100, no D4. I need like 10 or 15 runs off from those. Undefined, maybe. Missing, no, definitely. But uh, the, the reroll dice, just just give me some time, man. That's why I was almost happy that I came across a two room on the last floor. It's like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll just take it easy on this one. I didn't think the second secret room would be there, but was it worth a try? Honestly, probably not, but it's not an enormous cost either way because, uh, you know, we uh, we can use Dad's key once every two rooms. Once every one room if we can get uh, nine volts. You know, it's like a piece of gum is probably not worth 25 cents, but if you overpay for it, you're only out a quarter. You know, we're, we're only out one charge on Dad's key right now. That's not really that meaningful. This is a very, very important floor, and I'm hoping that we can get some momentum here. You know, we got no D6, so it's pretty much out of our hands. Oh, that is just terrible play. It's it's out of our hands for now. Um, very happy to see that there is a small rock there. I was just going to say tinted rock, but the small rock showing up is substantially better. Um, yeah, we don't have the D6, so we can't uh, we can't reroll shit items. Let's just hope that we don't get shit items. I mean, Magic Mushroom was fantastic. Peeper's Eye was not. But there's still plenty of floor left here to, to make its mark. And the other thing with Guillotine is that, yeah, the damage goes up, but it also does affect your uh, your ability to actually do damage because you're not going to be hitting with the same kind of efficiency. It's it's pretty unrealistic to assume that you're going to be able to hit with 100% efficiency as your head rotates around you. No matter how much... Did I... No? Okay. No matter how much attention you're paying to the, the situation that's developing... Uh, you know, you're still going to make mistakes there, so... Guillotine does come with an associated cost that I think a lot of people don't really give it credit for, but I still take it regardless, and I still like it regardless. Um, just, just laying a potential excuse in case things go terribly wrong here, I suppose. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're fine. Uh, I will do one more room so I can dance key this. Normally I wouldn't care, but being able to save two keys... Probably not meaningful, but you never know when, when Guppy's tail is going to show up and you're going to end up missing out on, you know, that Tammy's head or Cricket's head or something payout as a result of not being able to open your stuff up. I don't really want safety or liberty cap either. Oh, yeah, Mom's Knife. We'll take Mom's Knife. And if you're going to bitch at me for taking Mom's Knife, did you see the runs that we've been doing lately? Guillotine Mom's Knife. Uh, it, it's not any more solid or less solid than just a regular run plus Mom's Knife, but... Uh, I'm extraordinarily happy to have it regardless, and this means that all of our damage is completely sorted out. All we need to do now is stack up some HP if possible, so I don't really care, honestly, about a deal with the devil. In fact, I might care the opposite, like I might want to not get a deal with the devil or have a deal with the devil where we get like a Krampus fight or something like that, uh, or a deal with the devil where we get Dark Bomb. Obviously, that's up there as well, but we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it for now. Let's just try to make sure we don't take any more damage. I wouldn't classify, because we have the guillotine, I wouldn't classify any of the damage that we've taken so far as dumb damage, really. Uh, except for that one room, which was very, very dumb damage, but... Uh, overall, I think that uh, now is where we stop the bleeding. Hopefully. And just start to carry ourselves forth to victory. And gotta admit, we actually have slowed down a little bit on this room. Or on this floor, I should say. So maybe Boss Rush is a little bit of a, a long forgotten fairy tale here. We definitely do not want Bob's Rotten Head, but I'm happy we got a nickel uh, from the fire there. Half Red Heart still basically useless. We found our regular secret room, so we're only looking for a second secret rooms, and that's going to be our shop, which could be very important actually. No greed fight. Uh, we'll take the battery because we can afford it basically, and we'll take uh, the. The extra spirit heart as well, and yeah, we, we actually are not going to be putting down uh, too great of a time here, but that'll probably change once we start fighting uh, bosses. Now that we have Mom's Knife, the rooms should be over very, very quickly. Just a little harder to aim than I originally anticipated, but probably fine. Now, what is Battery Dad's Key really good for? I mean, not altogether that much, but 
We can we can make something happen with it, hopefully. I mean, we, we just made that happen, and probably this is where we'll feel content to stop the uh, the floor here after this Larry Jr. fight. There's not too many rooms left. We've been to all the rooms. We know we're going to be there and be special. No deal with the devil? Oh, right, we have a second boss fight first. My mistake. All right, Gertie fight. This is one that actually should be very easy for us, and it's already over before I can even finish that sentence. We do get a deal with the devil, but we picked up so much HP towards the end of this floor. Um, I think I have to take the second guppy item. And honestly, I'm going to take the ability to fly as well. We have more HP coming on the next floor. Was that an eternal heart in our second secret room here? It was, right? That's where I should use hematomesis. Let's come back and not make uh, ourselves look like an idiot there. And we got one. I mean, that wouldn't have changed anything, but a little disappointing. Because uh, we were going to get that anyway. But yeah, that was... I, I went like completely contrary to what I thought I was going to do. I was originally going to be like, we're not going to take any deals with the devil. But because we got one guppy item, I was like, let's take our second guppy item and let's take our ability to fly as well, because that's so defensively useful. But uh, yeah, our, our HP thus still leaves a little bit to be desired, but we also improved ourselves defensively, not so much with the, uh, the hairball, although objectively a little bit with the hairball. Mostly it's... Um, the pickup of the ability to fly that's going to be huge for us. And that's another hematomesis pill. We, we're going to have a pretty good track record of getting to our second secret room, so I would not be surprised if this ends up working out for us. But we don't have to worry about that too much for now. For now, we're just going to worry about uh, taking advantage of this floor as much as we possibly can. Item room and shop are the big ones. Deal with the devil at this point. If we could get a guppy item, fantastic. But we can already fly. Uh... We usually nine lives is is amazing and it would be amazing for us here But apart from that the actual guppy synergy itself like the transformation itself I don't know if it's gonna be that valuable because flies don't work that well with a knife usually but I mean at that point if we're getting to the point where we're analyzing how well mom's knife works in conjunction with guppy We're probably talking about a run that's gonna be a win regardless Obviously we got to check in here and this is like payback for that first floor where I was unable to blow this up and ended up taking damage as a result. We get two spirit hearts. Did cost us one extra bomb, but well worth it. That curse room, a little bit of comeuppance there. We got our shop, which contains the 9 volt, which we pretty much have to take. And that now gives us the ability to uh, use Dad's key once per room, so we might as well. And then Hematomesis gives us way too many red hearts. This would be a good opportunity for Dark Bum to show up and basically give us more HP than we could possibly ever need. Yeah, there's 16 minutes. All right. The adversary. Shouldn't be a problem. Is already dead. Okay. We did get another deal with the devil, which I think at this point is just great luck working out for us. Guppy? Not Guppy. That's a bomb. Guppy. Not Guppy that's flies. Guppy. Not Guppy that's more hematomesis pills, which is becoming kind of hilarious. I'll admit I'm tempted to head down to the next floor immediately for boss rush and boss rush related purposes, but... Uh, I will do some exploration to find the item room and not worry so much about boss rush. It's kind of a new year's resolution, new month resolution here. Don't worry so much about boss rush in situations where it's not that important. Don't sweat the boss rush and it's all boss rush. $3 bill? I like it. Do I love it and want some more of it? Not necessarily. You know what? Absolutely. Let's do the floor all over again. This is the ultimate way to not care about boss rushes, is just make decisions that deliberately slow you way down. But it also gives us... Oh, Curse of the Maze. It also gives us a, um, a good opportunity to have a little bit of an extra chance at Guppy, I think. And this is pretty much what we're looking at right here. Bad gas. Not so good. That probably will not be Guppy, if I had to guess. Just a room full of flies instead. Dodging's still a little tricky. And there is our uh, secret room. So occasionally we're going to have homing knife. It's... I like it, actually. I know it's not working out very well for me right now. Most of the time I actually do like homing mom's knife just because it's a little weird. But I know not everybody shares my semi-controversial opinion on that. I'm trying to think of like what other $3 bill effects actually have uh, impact for us. Triple shot will. Quad shot I don't think is one. 2020... Might... My Reflection, I don't think does. Tiny Planet doesn't show up. Ah, we'll, we'll see him on the fly. If you don't notice it, as far as I'm concerned, that's probably a good thing. Okay, wait for one more. We're at 18 minutes, so Boss Rush is, is definitely not possible. Because we still have one more floor to go. Not to mention, you know, the item room in the shop and, and all that jazz. But 
Lucky to not take damage there. I would really like to pick up some more spirit arts. Like, we're starting to get a little low here. And if not, spirit arts are respawn item at least. Because I'm starting to feel like a little... A little scared. I know myself. I know I've been in situations like this before. I don't think I've played particularly sloppily. It's just, um... Uh... The, uh... What am I trying to say here? Guillotine is making it a little slow. A little difficult to dodge, I should say. I don't think we need another item that makes, uh... That makes our dad's key like more effective. We're, pre we're pretty much doing all right there, I'd say. So we've already seen our item room. Uh, it's yet another hematomesis pill. And there is our second secret room. Second secret room just contains pills. One is hematomesis. Balls of steel is much better. Supposed to diarrhea. Are you a wizard? Man, just a like, I'm, I'm not gonna shit talk the pills right now because we just got balls of steel, which is one of the better pills in the game, of course, but for a PhD run, Kind of a shitty selection, at least. And for once, no deal with the devil, which might be okay. Judas's tongue, rusted key, Burkano, we can use at least once. Puberty pill? I was gonna say puberty rune, which is, that's another thing altogether. Um, my puberty rune was my really thick banded leather watch that I wore in high school. Um, so I stuck with rusted key, because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I want more chests if possible, I don't really care. Uh, what denomination of chests they are, you know, red, gold, regular, red would be best, I guess, for guppy items, but, uh, I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape about it regardless. Gotta remember that I can fly. I should do things like this as well. And actually, this is awesome, so we know we're gonna be able to donate here, which is a bit of a morale boost. Not that we need it, but it helps. Did, uh, Bumfriend just pay out with a spirit heart followed by a chaos card that's... That's quite surprising. I'm very proud of you. I know, deep in your heart, I still love you. That's not the kind of thing to, you should be making fun of. I mean, that was on intervention, you know? It's a show that is it's quite serious. It's about people who will lose their lives if they don't get their addictions under control. But at the same time, that clip is sort of funny. And I, you know, a lot of healing is done through laughter. You gotta, you gotta laugh before you can heal. I believe that's that's an old uh, Hippocrates quote. We'll take Champion Belt. I know I said I was gonna donate, but come on, man. It's Champion Belt. Kate and I watched an episode of Intervention because I'm a terrible person. Uh, this is a weird one. I think I'm just gonna use Joker now. Even if they give us the deal with the devil later. Uh, I want to take the Chaos card just for shits and giggles. But um, we watched an episode of Intervention. And there was a, like, a dude on there, he was something like 23, 24 years old, and he was an alcoholic and a, a crystal meth addict. But he was wearing, like, a powder purple hoodie when I first saw it, and I was like, oh, fuck, this guy's a Twitch streamer. But it wasn't, I think. Unless he was a Twitch streamer who also slept behind Safeway, at, you know, every night. But at the same time, for a second, I was like, you know, good on him for getting help, but that's gonna be like, maybe it's gonna be great publicity, maybe it's gonna be terrible publicity, I don't know. You gotta do what you gotta do either way. I'm just, I was I was surprised, I almost had a weird crossing of uh, of both of my lives there. I don't know what my, was my other life, is as a, an alcoholic and crystal meth addict, I guess, no. my The other part of my life is a dude who watches TV. Occasionally. I don't know why I have to feel like I have to qualify myself. It's because TV watching now has like a, it's got a negative stigma associated with it, right? You're like, yo, dog, you still have cable? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, you know, I, I like sports, and, uh, you know, I don't watch it that much. Just a couple of times a week, you know, whenever my team's played. You, is this, am I on trial? Like, it's, uh, you know, sports, or not sports, sorry. Cable is like, uh, it's going the way of the dinosaur, man. Well, at least among people my age and younger, which is, you know, rapidly approaching half the population. I don't know where that, uh... Where that cutoff is, it's probably like age 40 or something like that. It's not that far away, really. But yeah, we still have cable. I like to watch Cutthroat Kitchen while I fold laundry. Is that worth $60 a month? <laughs> well, it is It is to me, goddammit. And also when the Canucks play. It is the easiest way to see it. Um, but I'll admit that a lot of... I make a lot of decisions also that are just motivated by pure laziness. Not, not a good reason, necessarily, but you know, you can't spend your whole life min-maxing everything about your life. Sometimes you just gotta sit down and watch some Cutthroat Kitchen while you fold laundry. That'll also illuminate, if you're familiar with the Food Network schedule, that I'm usually folding laundry at like 1am. Which is, that's that's a whole different can of worms, with respect to my life, but... Justice Khan... 
death enemies. This is going to be our second cube of meat. And also our last deal with the devil. I would love to see Guppy. There's no Guppy, but there is the pact. If we're going to take the pact, we might as well take uh, Brother Bobby. And we're still going to have HP on the next floor regardless. Uh, you know what? We should maybe check for a second secret room here. Uh, I guess here? Nope. All right. Please don't take damage on this room then. The pact was still a good pickup as far as I'm concerned. You know what? See you later, fuckboy. Um, one of these might be a balls of steel. No. Okay. Well, we, we continue onwards. It's going fine. Like, there's nothing really wrong with this run right now. There's a few things I'd prefer were a little bit righter, but, uh... That's the way the cookie crumbles, basically. I can't believe we're still gonna have Dad's key probably at this point down to the chest. I mean, if we get a better spacebar item on the chest, it doesn't matter, because I've already used Dad's key to open the door, so... Yeah, Dad's key, you pretty much got your wish on this run. We're gonna be carrying you down all the way to the end. I'm not picking up the key, okay? We don't have Guppy's tail. If you want me to pick up keys, game, give me Guppy's tail. That's the solution there. Well, I don't want to give you an ultimatum necessarily, but here's your ultimatum. Fuck off or die. Uh, might as well pick this up. I mean, I, we've taken so many buffs for Dad's key that it's kind of becoming a little bit comical, but... It's of all the spacebar items to buff the shit out of. We chose the one that can open secret rooms. Does the same thing. I just had to listen there to see if a secret room was there. Does the same thing as, like, a couple of passive items, but takes up an active slot to do it. It's a, it's a real hero. But it will allow us to fight Mega Satan. Is Mega Satan dad? Oh my god. We're blowing the case wide open today. Uh, I still want Rusted Key. That's probably the room we should actually be using Dad's key on. Black Lotus, man, it's the second time we've had it in like five or six videos. It's very surprising. It doesn't show up all that much, uh, for me at least. I don't think it shows up that much for anybody. Why not use Balls of Steel there, I guess? Yeah, I don't think it shows up that much for anybody, but uh, it's it's been around for me lately, which is really nice. It's a pretty good item. I, I can't complain about it at all. Not our second secret room here, but that's okay. I do wish we had some form of mapping, but it's, that's like a luxury problem, you know? Oh, I wish my Bentley had a GPS system. Well, I mean, if you pay like $80,000 for it, maybe that's a genuine complaint. My genuine complaint? Whatever happened to Genuine? I'm waiting for Pony 2.0 2015 Remix. Man, that was a really, really powerful shot there. All right, well, maybe we'll use Chaos Card against Mega Satan. It does deal with one of his phases, and I don't want to deal with the nonsense of the first phase that summons like all those waves that are annoying as hell. I'd rather just deal with Mega Satan outright, so I'm pretty sure that's how this is gonna go. It's gonna be a, oh, hello. It's gonna be a relatively quick run here. Uh, and honestly, it should be. We picked up Mom's Knife on like the third floor, so it's pretty much how these things go. I don't love the hose, I'm out the dough, and I'll be rolling down the street, uh, smoking endo Sipping on gin and juice. I'll also be very laid back about the situation, despite thinking about my finances at all times, which is really the sign of obsession. Um, with my mind on my money, got it, yeah. It pays to be financially savvy, even if you are a multi-platinum recording artist. And my money on my mind. What does this mean? My money on my mind. Is that, are you wearing an expensive hat? Is that what that means? You know, you can tell that uh, that Snoop is a fiscally responsible rapper because in the song Gin and Juice, he says, Later on that day, my homie Dr. Dre came through with a gang of Tanqueray. And it's like, you know, Tanqueray is not a... Uh, it's not a value-priced gin, but you're certainly not getting into premium brand territory yet. You know, there is still people drinking Tanqueray in college on a, on a you know, summer job budget. So, I really respect that, you know, Snoop... For being a fiscally responsible uh, rapper, I'd like to present you with the Economist uh, Rapper of the Year Award for 1993, the year that Doggy Style came out. I hope you'll accept it, but uh, the airfare is not covered, um, as you might expect. And that should be okay with you. Because think of all the money you save buying Tanqueray instead of Seagram's. I forget, well, actually, he does say, now that I got me my Seagram's gin, everybody got their cups, but they ain't chipped in. That's not okay, guys. If you're hanging out with Snoop Dogg, you pay him back for those cups and whatever may or may not be inside of them. Well, this is like a pretty terrible haul when it comes to the boss fight here, but 
Um, might as well take it. We can use the game kit, I think, anyway. And this is going to be an easy win. This is win 25 as Eaton, which is really surprising to me. I'm pretty excited. Okay, here we go. 25 win streak is Eden. This is now like my second or third best streak ever, and this is exclusively as a character that can royally fuck you, but to be honest with you, I have not really been royally fucked. <laughs> the uh, the runs that we've had have been predominantly very, very easy. This one, not really any exception. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.